Hello, this is Sarah Payton here in the coronavirus closet. And today uh, there I'm working by special request. I have a request to do a little bit of empathy for people who have family members who believe that the coronavirus is a liberal hoax. Um, and so uh, it sounded both like the person who asked for this would like a little empathy for themselves about what it's like to have a family member say this, and also maybe a suggestion or two about how to respond. So we'll begin with empathy for what it's like to have a family member or a close friend or a grocery store clerk or somebody on the internet say that this is a liberal hoax. Hmm. Uh, Sarah, when you hear somebody say this, do you go blank? Are you a little stunned in the middle of people dying and especially in the middle of the experience of doctors losing their lives and nurses and people who are helping us, like that they're not even reporting, like grocery store people who, who are getting this virus from helping us and post office people and all of the people who are doing essential businesses and still going to work and taking care of us and bringing us groceries. I wonder if you feel uh, kind of baffled and incredulous and if your heart hurts from the sense of bewildering, uh, like w the bewilderment of having of seeing two different worlds. And this is something that we've been living with in the United States for some years now, this sense that there are two very different ways of looking at the world and, and that very many of us see the world one way and that's supported by uh, one group of media and very many of us see the world a different way and that's supported by a different group of media. Are you tired, especially in the face of death? Are you tired uh, by the discrepancy in viewpoints? Do you long for the return of a single voice? Um, would, you <laughs> would you love to have a Dan Rather who can speak to every person in the United States or a, Walter Cronkite, who has trust and can speak to every person in the United States and reach everyone or close to everyone. Do you long for a unity of, of broadcasting that's based on actual fact-checkable material? Hmm. And when I let in that longing for the unity and my exhaustion with our political situation in the United States, it does help my heart a little to say to my heart, of course you're tired. And of course you're sad. And of course you stopped beating for a moment. Hmm. And then to come to that other question, the question of how would we respond directly to a grocery store clerk or a family member who says, this is all just a liberal hoax. And I suppose if I were in my kind of warm curiosity place, I would say something like, oh, would you like to live in a world where everything felt normal and right. Or I might say, are you worried about the people who don't get to go to work and that they need money to pay for food and rent? Or I would say, Is, does this seem like a giant kerfuffle that makes no sense? Or I might say, I'm trying to imagine this person saying, this is just a liberal hoax. Are you 
disgusted and annoyed? And are you really, really wanting, sort of again, it comes up, life as normal, a normal life, not to be interrupted. And then there might be other worries about the stock market or might even guess that they have an appreciation for the person who's currently serving as president. Those kinds of things. Just to be in a place of warm curiosity about how is it like for them? What is it like for them? All right. That was the special request for today. I don't know if it serves, but I hope so. And if these videos do serve, please let me know. Please put a comment on Facebook or YouTube. It will help to nourish me to be able to keep doing them. All right. All the best to you.